Hello, I'm Fabio. Today I'm, I want to demonstrate the, the program that I have written on the Robo Studio for the AVB robot. And uh, my task on this, on this video is to write my initials. That's how I have written on my program all the targets detail. So now with my program on the pitch pendant, I want to play on the robot the, <clears throat> the program that I have written. So I have to press play and then the robot would start. That's all done. So as the robot goes around and follow the target, demonstrate on the pitch pendant which point it's running at that moment. Thanks for watching. On the robot, I have just pressed play on the flex pendant and the robot arm started following the path as I have uh, written the code. After that, I have extended this code with, uh, with some commands to give instruction for the operator. And uh, one of them is TP read. So it, it gives information to the operator, giving him some options like select an option, and then the other arguments I have in front here is giving him some option. For example, if I press play now, it says to the operator select an option. And I have square font, round font. I can draw F, draw P separately as desired. So this command gives me some, um, some, some options. So if I say just to draw P, it goes straight to the to the task that I have given. So uh, TP writes, we will keep a message here saying it's drawing initials. So it gives the, the, the operator some instructions for what's happening. And also I used here TP arrays because if I keep saying do this task and do this do another task, or if I say draw F, it will keep adding here all the tasks it has done previously. So when I use TP arrays, it just keep the information which is doing at that moment. It, it doesn't keep loading all the information down here. To develop this project in order to allow the robot's arm to uh, draw my initials, First thing, I've got to create this table where the robot can, can write on it. So I have created this on a CAD software and after imported with import geometry 2 to this project. So after that I set it, I settled that to the to a position where the robot can perform efficiently. Um, then I created a work object, so my robot knows in the world where my table is and can draw exactly where the table is as well. So I set this work object as a zero position on this corner of the table. So the robot knows where my, where my table is. After doing this, I have created all, all my targets in order to draw my initials. So I, I set a home position, so you can always begin from a point. And then once I defined where my letter will start, I also settled above it, a off, offset point. So it doesn't come straight to the point, maybe 
drawing some lines which is not desirable so I set up above it a offset position so from that point it goes straight down and start drawing my initials so every corner I settled with the reference to, <clears throat> to the axis X, Y and Z to achieve these letters when it comes to the end, it comes up again to the offset point and move to another letter and perform the same thing. After I created all my targets to define the letters, I had also to create a, a path so the robot knows the sequence that it has to, to run in order to, to draw these letters. So I need to drag target by target to the point and settle this in a position which I, I wish to follow and also the robot will know where where it is so this first point here offset is there so the next one will be f1 goes down and follow the path as desired So now I can demonstrate that if I move my table somewhere else around the robot arm, the robot will still follow it and perform the task. So to move the table, I come to layout, table, position, set position. In the world. So if I say, if I move on the y axis to 450 and let's change x to say 110 we keep the same height apply so there there we moved our table so now my my working object is set to the zero position of the table on this corner. So what I need to do, I need to come to my drawing table, which is this part here, where the robot perform. Set position. <clears throat> Change it to the world. So I can say my x is 0 and my y is um, 300 let's see where it goes that's perfect so my zero position related to the table is in that corner there and the path will be created on the top of the table so to check it now I ask the robot to move along the path and there we go so that shows my drawing table, which is my path, is set on the top of the table, which is my object. And we'll perform the, the task as it is being done before on the previous position. In another project, I have created um, a component with different heights and shapes so it's a more complex detail on it so on this case we don't need to create target by target defining every position to follow a path we can use a tool called um, AutoPath So in reference surface, we just define which surface that we, we are looking on. So we have to select that. 
and from there when we just come close to the edge it pre-select the place where where you want to the path to be created so you keep sliding around and clicking every side of it selecting the path where it has to to draw so as you see here it goes down in an arc so to create these targets manually would be very difficult so this tool auto path is a tool that we can we can use in this case so we have already a component with very complex uh, positions so we just select the edge of it so I also draw I also draw here my initials in a different different font and size so just by selecting all this autopath